the confusion on camera, but many are still wondering, what was it? Local 10 News went looking for some answers, and Christian De La Rosa has the story live from Fort Lauderdale. Christian. Yeah, well, BSO got a lot of calls about this. We got a lot of calls about this. I can tell you it wasn't an earthquake based on what experts are telling us. The Naval Air Station in Key West telling us it wasn't them. So at this hour, what caused this big shake that so many people felt? Still a mystery. South Florida feeling the rumble. What's going on here? In Broward, the sheriff's office flooded with phone calls. Almost like someone was opening and closing the door. I thought it was an earthquake. I've never been in an earthquake before. In Homestead, people tweeting it went on for 15 seconds, even down in Monroe County. So where are we having uh, these mini earthquakes? That was a weird as We've had several phone calls about people record, reporting shaking. The United States Geological Survey telling Local 10 News what may have felt like a small earthquake did not register. We got reports of people uh, experiencing shaking in the South Florida area around 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our, our computers did not locate any earthquakes automatically. So we looked at all the seismometers and we did not detect any earthquake activity. So we still have calls out to the Air Force. We can tell you that several of our viewers in the Miami-Dade County area did report seeing military air jets flying overhead uh, during these hours that these shakes were felt between one and four o'clock. I can tell you that USGS expert that we spoke to tell us that uh, based on what people are describing, this shake, this rumble that lasted about 15 seconds, it didn't register as an earthquake, but it does seem to fit the description of a sonic boom. We'll keep you posted on this one. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Christian De La Rosa. Local